Sean Sewell, Gimme.com podcast. Coming at you with a quick episode up here at Jones Pass. Whoosh, right up there. We're actually on the way to Jones Pass. We're letting uh, all the backcountry skiers and splitboarders head out before I set up camp. And uh, here's little Riley Dog. And Chloe's already pooped. She's in the, the car there. So, we just got done working on reviews with G3 for their new skins. And pretty excited. Got this new Dometic cooler, 55 liter, to test out tonight. Finished up work with Peak Designs on a few projects. And then, uh, gosh, this is a really cool opportunity we had. Vasque, uh, they make great men's, women's, and kids' boots. <laughs> uh, reached out to partner up and review uh, almost everything in their lineup. So I shot the videos for the Vasquez Bree, Breeze LT GTX boot and low and a Talus XT. Mike Goblin's going to be working on a kid's uh, boot review and then Nicole Doty would be working on <laughs> the women's boots reviews as well. So look forward to those. Uh, yesterday we worked on an Indiegogo project with a company called Made Clothing. Two women left, Arcteryx and my friend Dustin, and they founded a company called Made, and they're making bespoke ski jackets, snowboard jackets, bibs, and clothing using Neo Shell from PolarTech as well as Sympatex recycled three layer waterproof breathable membranes. So uh, that's gonna solve a lot of people's issue with fit and function, as well as you get to pick out the color, where the pockets go. Drop pockets. I, I did ask that in the podcast. We can do it for drop pockets, and we sure can. That's a big, big, awesome opportunity. And that's on Indiegogo right now. And then, uh, what else? Uh, Night Eyes, which a lot of stuff is made in America. I didn't know that. They're up in Boulder, actually. Sent over a whole box full of stuff. We're going to be using some of it tonight, so we'll have reviews up on that. Uh, lights and carabiners and all kinds of stuff. Dog leashes and dog stuff. King of the mountain he is. What a stud. Oh, this is so fun being up here. This morning I got here, it was snowing sideways. Beautiful weather, hanging out with this miniature Aussie dog and his owner, uh, Rob Larson. Went up to Sean's run. This is where I was gonna do the podcast, but we were just having too much fun. It was the most amount of snow we've had out there all year. Uh, it was it was beautiful. I'll probably try and include a video link below of of uh, some splitboarding and backcountry skiing action. And uh, Pat Flynn will be joining probably next week. I'm gonna reach back out to Dan John. And uh, Dan John and Pavel have a new work coming out, the Easy Strength 2. So we'll probably talk about that. Speaking of Pavel, just got word there's gonna be a strong endurance event here in Denver, Colorado. And yes, it is gonna be at our gym. And uh, just like last time, I will probably be working directly with Pavel, micing him up, and if we do offer it online, giving it to all you worldwide. It was a good success at our gym last November. I think we had like 165 students online and uh, some people in person. It was, it was awesome. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Strong Endurance, so much so that I wrote an article about three or four years ago with Eric Frohart and Pavel. And we put that up on the Strong First website and then actually turned into part of a book called The Quick and the Dead. As you know, I'm a big fan of the Quick and the Dead book. And uh, yeah, so great stuff. Strong Endurance is legit. If you want to attend the conference, you can come and check it out at our gym here in Denver, Colorado. I'll put links below when that becomes live. I'll update this podcast so you can attend it. And um, Speaking of Strong First, looking forward to hanging out with my friend Amanda, the COO for Strong First. Uh, her birthday here is here at the end of March. My wife's is March 25th. So we'll celebrate a little tandem birthday party. Speaking of my wife, I need to give a big shout out to my wife. She just got a title change today, which is, I don't usually share that kind of personal stuff on the podcast, but very proud of her and her hard work. So uh, yeah, now she's the recruiter for the law firm. And the law firm, uh, if you don't know, I've been working on this law firm called Brownstein High Farber Shrek, going on 20 years now. And so I started off there in the mailroom, went into um, accounting. I did the budget for all the law firms, like 14 law firms, millions of dollars of budget. And I have no background in accounting, but 
pulled it off. Then I went to IT, and before I left, after my brother passed away, um, which inspired me to go into fitness, I started my business, well on some motion, parent company for Caldwell Personal Fitness and Engearment, and that was my inspiration to go into fitness. In case you ever were wondering what got me to change career courses, working in a corporate world, structured job, to building businesses around fitness and the outdoors and camping and dogs and health and wellness and mental wellness. So um, I built a gym and fitness studio inside that law firm and uh, that up until <laughs> this COVID hit was where I was every every weekday. Um, but uh, it's cool now because we can do it all virtually. So now we get to uh, train more people in a virtual environment. Of course, we get to use the nice cameras and microphones. And so the experience for them is incredible. Um, and the experience on my part is even more rewarding because I get to see even more people and their kiddos and their spouses and their dogs and sometimes even cats. But great stuff. I'm uh, just gushing here because I'm super excited for her. The law firm has been very good to her. It's been very good to me. So, uh, and you know, behind the scenes, like she is my partner for all this stuff. So it's nice to see her be rewarded for her hard work in her career. Upcoming things we're working on. So we talk about Pavel, strong endurance at our gym here in Denver, Existence Athletics. Um, Patagonia, oh yeah. So Patagonia reached out yesterday to go over um, spring 21 and some fall 21. And as you, if you follow the channel and or you, you know, read the reviews on engagement.com or on YouTube, we actually cover most of what they were pitching, which is great. We already have a review up on the Storm 10 lightweight jacket made from recycled materials and it's a three layer waterproof breathable membrane jacket, uh, the R1 Air hoodie, which is awesome as well. Again, recycled materials. And then they sent over their face mask, which is actually my favorite face mask. I don't like wearing a face mask, but you do what you gotta do. It is by far the most comfortable one I have. Uh, and they had like 10 more um, ideas on things to work on. And of them, I think at least six or seven we already did, which is awesome. <laughs> so uh, that was, that felt really rewarding to, to say, hey, you know what? Thank you for the opportunities, but uh, we already have those done for you. So, you know, enjoy. Let's work on some stuff moving forward. Um, Outdoor Research is sending over the new um, Active Shell waterproof breathable jacket. So that'll be here later this week. And like I showed you a little teaser, Dometic. So Dometic, again, this is a this is a huge opportunity for us. We're really excited. Um, getting into the overlanding, van lifing, uh, you know, more glamping, um, overlanding kind of uh, setups. So my friend Chris Hennessy down there in Texas, my friend Damien, uh, he's a very awesome person I get to work with from the Caribbean actually and he and and Jeff Welsh and some other friends of mine already have Dometic equipment so I'm going to pick their brains on how they built up their uh, trucks their RVs their vans to accommodate their lifestyle of enjoying the great outdoors because as you know we know we have our roof nest tent right here and we do a lot of actual tent camping in fact this last weekend we were camping on our deck we had the second biggest snowstorm in 20 years in Denver so we made the most of it and camped on the deck for a few days, much to the amazement and <laughs> entertainment of all our neighbors and their kids. And we built a snow wall around. It was fun. Make the most of being outside. You never know <laughs> what you can do until you try. So, uh, oh yeah, back to Dometic. So Dometic sent over that 55, I'll show you again, because why not? We're just hanging out here anyways and, until everybody leaves our camp spot. So Dometic, CFX 55. Uh, I'm going to plug it into my battery source here. I won't mention what company it is because the make is going to send over a battery here in a few few days for us to use, so I'm not going to show you what that battery is. But in there we have our energy drinks, some beer, water, the cables that came with, instructions, and it comes with a couple little ice cube trays too. So I will have a very detailed review on the CFX 355 IM cooler from Dometic here very soon. This will be our first day using it. And then again, like I said, I'm not going to mention what battery that is because it's not the Dometic brand, but they're going to send over one of their awesome batteries as well. And then, oh my gosh, where to even start? Our writer, Kate Agathon, had just cranked out like 10 awesome reviews. Um, those are uh, every day I'm populating those. And she's going through covering a lot of really great woman-based um, cross-country ski reviews, stuff from Swix and Cora and other companies 
And then my, my main man, Drew Thayer, just got a review up on a pulk, a ski pulk. So if you don't know what that is yet, it's basically a sled that you pull behind you and allow you to carry much more gear and or a kid, which in this case he did. He's got a one-year-old, carried a kid into the backcountry for a hut trip, as well as plenty of provisions, food, and adult beverages. So he actually shot a video, I'm gonna edit tonight when we're camping, put that up uh, later this week. And of course, uh, our favorite Welshman, Will Rickards, put together two really cool reviews. He's got a really tight connection with uh, Stephen Sashin over there at Zero Shoes, that's X-E-R-O Shoes. Will is all into minimalist. You know, back in the day, I was all about minimalist shoes and boots and stuff. Well, I guess shoes and sandals, there wasn't boots yet. Now there's boots and they're waterproof, these ones actually. So Will's uh, put together two really cool videos and great write-ups. And those were embargoed until this week. So they will be going live this week. Um, so if you're a minimalist footwear aficionado, you're gonna wanna check those out. Uh, and Zero, again, based here in Colorado. Do you know he actually went, I, I was hanging out with Steven and I interviewed him five, six years ago. He actually went on a shark tank and they did not like his idea. And he used that to his advantage as very resourceful. He utilized that exposure to show his integrity. And I really appreciate that about him and people like that, that they don't count that as a failure, they count that as a success because they, they stuck to their guns. And look at him now, he's kicking butt. And a lot, of, a lot of you are probably fans of Zero Shoes, as am I, and their sandals. But now they have boots. That's right, boots and water shoes. So, Will Records did a great job on those write-ups. And Aaron Rose is working on some stuff as well. And we have a new writer, Katie Botwin, who uh, actually, um, I worked with her on Wild Tribute Review. So if you ever saw the videos with those four snowboards in the mountain in the background, that's Wild Tribute. Make cool, cool clothing. And so she's a fantastic new writer. Handsome. And uh, welcome Katie to the team. And she's actually a legit photographer too. So <laughs> I'm gonna be learning from her how to get better at my video and photography skills as well. I don't know if you're watching this video, my dog Riley's climbing the snow mound repeatedly. Chloe is just in the truck waiting until we get to our campsite to go AWOL, which she always does. It's gonna be very entertaining. Oh, if you were curious about slide paths for avalanches. So right there, there's one and there's two. And we were up here about two weeks ago and we actually watched the helicopters come in and drop the explosives and detonate them. I think that was while I was shooting the review for, what was that? I don't know, whatever two weeks ago was. We do a lot of reviews. Cool, how did I forget this? Again, we've been working a lot with Cool. So I'm gonna have a Cool review up on the Merino and Merino Poly shirts. Uh, we just finished a review, or we're gonna have, <laughs> this is very embarrassing. Gonna be having a lot of boxer reviews coming up soon. Every winter I do uh, several boxer reviews, uh, Saks, Under Gents, and Cool actually has their own boxers. So guys get the courage to shoot the videos. It's kind of awkward going on YouTubes uh, in your boxers, in your underwear, but I'm gonna do it. Stay tuned or don't watch those if you don't want to. But uh, long story longer, um, wool, speaking of wool, Cora. Um, did a Cora Yak Wool. Yeah, Yak Wool. It's a Yak Wool Merino blend. That is live as well. Uh, we just did a Chrome. This was a lot of fun. Chrome's a really cool company. And I've been a big fan of theirs for a long time. And they reached out to do a, uh, a launch uh, for their new Cobra 3.0 Merino Wool hoodie. So they sent it over a few weeks ago. I've been using it. And it just went live, I think, two days ago. So I got the time their video to go. It's like the first video ever on their, that jacket. That, that was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go on a tangent. Again, more tangents. Just super grateful to get to work with all these companies, not just Patagonia and North Face, but all the companies, startups like Made, and companies that have, I watch them go from small to big, like Chrome, and even GoPro, I'm shooting this on a GoPro as well, and I got the Rode wireless microphone. To, uh, hopefully the audio is better than just the, the GoPro itself. It's just a lot of fun to work with these companies. Um, and get the riders involved, the men, the women, uh, the kiddos, the dogs, and just share how we see the outdoors, share how these companies create products to satisfy an opportunity they see in the marketplace. And just hopefully that a person like yourself watches a video or reads a review and they find that, that one thing or that few of the things that allows them to have a higher quality of life and get outside and enjoy the outdoors um, a little bit more. That's it, just 1% better. <laughs> That's how we build uh, success. Just
step by step, little increments. So yeah, that's why we do what we do. And, uh, and the next one, this is getting long, it's 15 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap it up real quick. Um, I'll keep you apprised of what we're working on next, but I think we've covered everything we're currently doing. I showed you the avalanche pass in the background. We're gonna go take this roof nest tent at the medic cooler, some adult beverages, and go back up there and, and camp. And uh, yeah, as always, if you have any questions or if there's a product you think we should look into or business we should help support, um, let us know. We, we love working with the companies, like I mentioned, uh, and getting this content up for you guys. Hopefully it helps you make the right buying decisions to put your hard-earned money towards the gear, the clothing, the opportunities that make things better for yourself. And uh, as always, if you want the stickers, let me know too. I've got the engagement stickers, I've got the Call of Personal Fitness stickers. I'm happy to send them out free of charge. Just give me your address and I'll send you some stickers. We love seeing the stickers showing up in Instagram stories and on water bottles and on trucks and cars and coolers and laptops. It's cool. It's a community of people. So I just want to give something back to you guys. All right, this is Sean Sewell with Ingamer.com. I'm going to go camp. <laughs> Hopefully you found this entertaining uh, and, I don't know, hopefully not boring. But until next time, take care. <laughs>